Once we found a sensor size that kind of matches the telescope, now we need to talk about what's called quantum efficiency. For each photon of light that hits the sensor in general, how big a percentage of those are then converted into data? In many cases, you will find that monochrome cameras have a higher quantum efficiency than the color cameras. No cameras is gonna be 100% efficient. A good camera, you will often find 90 plus percent. Now we know bigger sensor means more lights, more light gets converted into data if we have a higher quantum efficiency. And now that data is gonna be put in storage, if you will, on the sensor while the sensor is taking its picture. And now we need to talk about what's called the full well depth. It's essentially, how many converted photons can each pixel hold? The more electrons each sensor well can store, the more data you can collect before the sensor peaks and you begin to overexpose. That again can be important if you want to try and avoid having your stars get completely blown out while collecting data on a very, very faint nebula maybe. This can also dictate how long exposures you can do with that camera because the longer you expose, those stars is gonna to begin to be overexposed and you wanna to try to avoid that. 